Hello and welcome to another episode. This one I'm going to show you what I think I've discovered um, after the ICC U software update. My 12 volt battery charging, I think, is behaving differently. Um, so I've had to go back through some old car scanner logs and pull out some graphs from when I went for fully charged in April and uh, they've got time versus various parameters and I'll show you the way the 12 watt battery charging used to work when you were driving versus how it behaves now um, using my new gadget um, I've got I've managed to get the car scanner running and the 12 volt battery monitor running at the same time on the same screen and then I've used a screen recorder to capture what's happened so I will come to that in a bit but firstly let's go through the previous evidence okay so I'm going to show you a couple of graphs that I've, I've constructed with uh, car scanner this was from April of this year when I drove down to fully charged and back as you can see the red is the 12 volt battery voltage for the most part it's constantly charging and hammering the 12 volt battery now many people have criticized the way this charges the 12 volt battery and, and some have suggested it's probably why it shortens the life of the 12 volt battery as you can see there um, I'm 5.29 in the morning very early I'm driving for a few hours and the green line is my speed and you can see that that red is pretty constant it's just keeping the 12 volt battery completely topped up without giving a breath really and on the second graph you can also see um, a speed versus the the battery power that's coming out on the regen so um, you'll see that the regen is all the negative figures so that's when regen's happening but the 12 watt battery charging current remains constant all the way through that's the red line then I'm going to come to this video this is a recording I took this morning where I've got a split screen with the new Android tablet gadget I've got, my T-Box uh, car link kit and I'll play back the recording, speed it up and it's only a few minutes but you'll see what's happening there's my speed as, I, as I'm getting faster um, the battery monitor to the right you can see that it's charging when it's 13, 14 volts and also when it's charging, um, when it's not charging you see the battery percentage of what it thinks it is. On the car scanner it's showing the battery stage of charge at 12 volts is lower at 93. And the 12 volt battery voltage matches more or less what's on the battery monitor. Notice what happens when I get some regen and you get a negative figure in this kilowatt here, kilowatt thing here. And when it goes negative, you suddenly find it started to charge the 12 volt battery. But it's not constant, it only does it when you're doing regen. Um, I've also noticed it, the 12 volt does get charged when you're driving in the straight line without regen when it dips below a certain level but I've not been able to spot what level that is yet there it goes the regen and it goes back in, in some 12 volt
Thankfully this doesn't go on too long, but it is sped up twice the speed, so you can hear some of the driving sounds in the background. They are regen, and then it will start charging. When it starts using again, it drops back down. A massive spike of regen and then that will start charging. Anyway, you get the idea, when it's regening, it's topping the 12 volt battery up, apart from when it drops below a certain level. So, I think this is the way the, the, the VCMS system was supposed to work, that's the Vehicle Charging Management System. Um, but the main thing that's changed between April and now, besides the VCU update for the iPedal, I think it's the ICCU update, because my 2021 version was IES 05R, so release 5 in other words, and that jumped t up to release 12 in 2023 when I had the ICCU update installed a few weeks back. So my suspicion is that is what's caused it. But why would they change it? Well, many have suspected that um, overcharging the 12 volt battery was what's probably been killing some of them in the first instance. So just charging it gently in this kind of fashion, or when it needed it, makes more sense and will prolong the life of the 12 volt battery. Uh, secondly, anything that's coming out of the traction battery is, is reducing your efficiency and using more power. So the, the less that comes out of the traction battery, the more energy you've got for driving, more range. So this is what I think's happened. I mean, there could be no end of changes between version 5 to version 12 of the ICCU, but um, there is, there's no online documentation to say, or change log to say what's happened. So that's what I suspect has happened. I mean, if you disagree with me, please let me know. If you've got contrary evidence, please let me know. But since I've had these the facility to have car scanner and other things running on, on the infotainment screen at the same time, it's given me an insight into what's happening. And before I used to, used to have it on um, my Android tablet on another mount in the car, and I, I wasn't paying as much attention or I couldn't see it, it wasn't as visible. Anyway, hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching.